for the last one let me just repose this so that I can have a better idea this one wouldn't require to go too low because of also character design maybe somewhere let's see let's just what about an expression like that would that make any sense I don't remember looking at a 3d character like that yeah it would make sense so let's say something like that negative 0 0.40 let's go again never confuse the top and bottom I could hide the others okay it needs a transformation bone constraint so let's make it right here sorry screencast local spaces here target is already set map from I have copied that and then for the top let's see the furthest highest it could go would be somewhere like like there maybe it is having some jumpy motion here oh, of course to have this I would like to actually there are a lot of strange things there but okay so I'm seeing I have to I'll have to make adjustments but let's focus on this first so maybe it's high yeah I don't want to be suffering from that kind of thing in, and it's not the snap too there's really some strange behavior there it's ice surface right? it's not anything else let's see if I now it's very smooth whatever let's reset and yeah, now it's working more or less properly let's say that this position would be it that's a lot 0.62 yeah let's take this positive 0.62 all right then I go here and that will be the max then map 2 let's start with the bottom as position so as it goes as it very low uh, should there be any even more lowered eyelash yes why not but not that much because the eyelash is already this looks good enough for me then for the top position the higher position it could be something like that 0 0.8 is that too much or too little let's see well this looks kind of good except that this one is too much indeed so let's readjust that let's see now okay I, I, I take this result I think this is working except that here we've got some interpenetrations and this is where maybe I should address first some wave painting here so what I want to do is perhaps smear that towards that direction I want that bone also to have some slightly stronger influence on the first ones then let's remake some no not that Oh, I'm not using the protector, okay, the paint mask or the vertex selection option. So let's, no, I shouldn't be adding too much here. And here is also dangerous, so let's smooth, no, 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 no. Why not smooth everything like that? okay let's try maybe what about this yeah this is nice then finally let's see what does 
what this does now it might be good that it gets some higher influence let's try now ok I'm still getting interpenetration but it only occurs in certain circumstance overall it's already working more or less yes this one is the more complicated right now this is looking good I could attempt more changes here actually let's smooth out this and let's perhaps attempting many yeah well this is not working very well let's see if I do something like that alright this this seems to have improved although it's not exactly the shape that I wanted on this corner but oops what's happening here it is snapping everywhere okay it's kind of smooth so I like that let's just make a little more No, I still getting some blocky thing here that I dislike. I want to see if I did something like that. What happens? Well, nothing much because I don't have ways to control this uh, subdivision mesh. Okay, so I need to select that. more because these shapes are are distributed in a, in a bad way yes there could be uh, more proximity between these vertices something like that uh, still not good enough but then if I go on wave painting wave paint mode let's try again for that bone um, no, maybe it, it really requires more influence from the start. Okay, that's kind of seem to work. Then this one, let's see. Oops, needs a protection. And then blurring. Yeah, this slightly more here and lesser here, lesser here. And then towards the end maybe we can leave that curve that way it's not it's not it's interesting maybe just uh, But if 
if I do all this smearing does it help in anything okay let's try that okay I think for a tutorial this is fine enough uh, the interpenetration there uh, yes yeah, still happens occasionally but we can sometimes we won't even see it in animation if we especially we can avoid if we are careful now let's address the bottom eyelash bones now I want to see which would be the highest positions possible for it um, really I don't have many ideas here but maybe somewhere like here would be uh, okay for this let's see okay it doesn't have yet a transformation constraint so let's do this for start with and then let's change these targets all at once if this is feasible it is okay gain time then this position positive 2 6 then map from z positive uh, no the maximum it started with the maximum actually we'll do this also for this one no uh, it's this bone 0 0.60 maximum and then this one uh, somewhere like here I guess yes why not then this will be no 0.03 yeah this this bone already starts that high yeah that's true and it doesn't go any more than that usually on the minimum well let's see we can go beyond just not too much otherwise we might get confused with the compensations so Yeah, I guess these positions should be fair enough. Yeah, something like that. So there will be interpenetrations there, but uh, I'm not. Sh yeah, there should be ways to avoid that. Uh, anyways, I want that around here. This is the minimum. Negative 0.53 then for that one negative 0 0.45 and then for that one negative 0 0.24 all right now for the actual effects of the transformation bone constraint so as this eyelid goes lower what happens I want the eyelash to also go lower yes that makes sense so but not too much maybe just that 